Here's a quick little tutorial on how to import decks into Tabletop Simulator's Digimon Workshop mod. Firstly what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the Workshop mod, which I will leave a, a link in the description to. Uh, it's just this one here, it's the version 2 automated Digimon card game, that's the one that I'm using and it's the one that I've found the most useful. Honestly, me and my friends have been using it for quite a while and it's really really helpful. Once you're loaded in and you have got the, uh, the Workshop mod up and running, you're able to move around, you're able to see the Digimon board here, and you'll be wondering how to import. Now there is a quick little thing here, you'll be able to see that it sends a link to Digimon Card Dev, we'll get to that in just a second. But really, you're going to want to go to the notebook and go to my deck. You don't need to change anything at all, you're just going to want to empty this as well, just to clear it out. This is then when you're going to want to go to digimoncard.dev on your browser and you're going to want to start looking at these potentially different things on the screen right here. It may look confusing at first, but don't worry, stick with me, you'll get through it. The easiest thing to do if you're a beginner Digimon player, you're going to want to look at these ones with the boxes on them. You're not going to really want any of these specific packs, you're just going to want the one with the boxes. So for example, we just go for this uh, black starter deck, that's the one that I used to run originally. We're going to go into it and we can see, this. these are the cards that it contains. And then you're going to want to Google what the contents of that starter deck was. Unfortunately, Digimon Card Dev doesn't give you the full list or the easy exact contents, so instead we're just going to have to look at the Digimon Card Wiki. And we can see that once we're on the ST5 starter deck, we scroll down a little bit to the cards. When you've got that done, you're going to want to come back into Digimon Card Dev, click the deck builder in the top right hand corner, and then you, all you have to do is just click the cards that number of times that is in relation to the Digimon card wiki. Finally, once you're done with that, you're going to head on to the import export, which is in the middle of the deck builder section. Then you're going to want to go to export TTS. You're going to copy. Just going to copy that text there where it says exported. You want that entire block, including the square brackets and the speech bar. Finally, the last step is to jump back into Tabletop Simulator. Click back where the notepad and the My Deck is. You're going to Control V, paste that in. Uh, normally, what I like to do is just hit Add New and then click back onto My Deck just to make sure that it's solidified. And then you're literally just going to click the middle of this uh, this little digivice here where it says Load English. You're going to Import Deck. Give it just a second. It might come up saying uh, load image failed. Not to worry, that's not a problem. That's just an internal thing. Nothing to worry about, it still works perfectly fine. Now as you can see, it's just gonna take a second to load. There we go, once it's loaded you're finally ready to go, all your cards are imported, as you can see, 54 cards in the stack. Now the easiest way to separate these out is to right click, search, and just type egg in the search bar, and you can see the uh, the four egg cards in your Digimon, your Digi Egg cards. These go in your raising area, flipped face down, and the other one goes in the slot just above the bin, and then you have all your very useful buttons here, which you can easily explore. And it really is just that simple. As you can see here, we have the ab ability to use recovery up to five, and then we can draw five as well, and we're ready to play the game.